Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're well. Today we're going to do another little tutorial. This is about installing third-party mods for PC. So everybody knows how to access the mod hub within Farming Simulator 19. You find the mod you want, you double click on it, you hit the install button, and the mod is installed in your game. Great, no problem at all. Now if you had installed the mod there, Farming Sim would prompt you to restart the game. And that's key with third-party mods as well. Never install a new mod from a third-party site whilst the game is open, because it won't show up. You have to always restart your game when you install a new mod. So, let's jump into a third-party site. Let's show you how to download it. Let's show you how to install it in the correct folder on your computer. And then how to activate it in-game. So here we are on Yes Mods. Now, I, what I would say here, it is your responsibility, I think, to make sure that you get your mods from reputable sites. Um, if you know the mod has a Facebook page and shares his mods on there, always download the mod from the originator if you can. It's not always possible, but in most circumstances, I think it's really important. The modders keep this game alive. This, the modders do phenomenal stuff. They do incredible mods that that really have changed the face of this game from the original game so yes like i said reputable sites only i'm not going to tell you what they are you need to do your research there's a hundreds and hundreds of uh posts out there and information out there so please 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 support modders where you can like their facebook pages make sure you comment on them to say thank you and generally just support them because they do so much for the game now i'm on yes mods here i've never had any issues with yes mods uh, i do believe that they are reputable in the community and they always take the time to tag uh, and reference the modder when they're sharing uh, any mods. Now, I've got a nice precision disc air drill here that I've wanted for a while. Uh, it's a nice case one. So we're going to download it and I'll show you how to install it to get it working in your game. So again, Yes Mods uh, is a great site, just brilliantly laid out. Uh, doesn't send you off on any crazy um, path to download it. You just hit the green button click to download and you'll see in the bottom corner here it has downloaded that. Once it's finished downloading we're done with the site you can close it down and head back to your computer. Okay so now I'm assuming when you're back in your computer that um, all your folders are in the default places so your, down, your downloads folder is the download folder that Windows 10 sets up when it creates your machine and also when you've installed the game you've not moved any of your folders anywhere um, some of the more technical PC users here may do that um, depending on how many drives they've got in their machine. But let's assume for now that all the folders are where they should be when the game is installed and when Windows 10 was installed. So there is our downloaded mod, the Case IH Precision Disk. Um, it is a zip folder and it should always be a zip folder. You do not need to unzip mods. You use them as they are, as they're downloaded. The only difference sometimes is map modders. When they include other mods within their map, uh, they will have a zip folder, and when you unzip that folder, there will be a load of other zip folders with additional mods in. In those cases, they are usually very, very clear about the fact that you have to do that. So another tip from me, always read the stuff on the page when you're downloading a mod. Okay, now we've got our mod, and all we need to do now is install it into the game. Now I found that running Opening two windows helps with this. Um, you can copy, so click on your mod, right click and copy the mod, or you can drag and drop it. I like to have two windows open anyway. So what we'll do is click copy from the mod that is in your downloads folder, and then we will navigate to where you install the mod in FS19. So like I said, I'm assuming that the game has done a standard install and no folders have been moved. You need to go into documents, and if you go down here to My Games, Farming Simulator 19, and Mods. And there you'll see a huge list of zip files, because that is all the mods that I have currently installed in the game. So there's a few in there. And all you need to do here is right click and click Paste. And you'll see at the top there, FS19 Case IH Precision Disk 500. So your zip folder is now in the mods folder with an FS19. So you can close these down and go and start up your game. And if your game is open, quit your game and restart. Okay, that's us back in game now. 
So you've got two options here. You can add that mod to an existing game or you can create a new game and add them onto it. So I'll do both here. So let's go into career. Let's start a new game. Let's start a game with new farm. And let's just do it on Box County. There we go. Now what you'll see here is all of the mods that you saw in my folder there are here. Now by default, when you start a new game, it will try and install all of them. I would recommend not doing that because it just puts an ample load on your game and it will also take a lot longer to load. So I always start by deselecting all uh, and then going through and basically selecting the ones you want. So you can scroll through here. It is in alphabetical order, which is very helpful. So you just keep going until you find your newly installed mod. And there it is. There's all our case equipment and there is what we just downloaded, the Case IH Precision Disc 500. So all you need to do there is tick that box and that will be activated in the game. Let's also go and grab a tractor. So let's turn on that Case IH with tracks and we will hit start. So here we are in Bucks County. Um, game is all loaded in. All we need to do now is hit P to go to the store, go to Cedars, scroll along and if we've done this right, there we are. We have our precision disc, 40 foot precision disc, 60 foot and our air cart. So you can buy those. Also the tractor that we installed, I do believe is in medium tractors. Scroll along here, there is our installed mod for the tractor. So simple as that. Now I did say as well that I would show you how to do it to add a mod into an existing game. So principle is very, very simple here. Uh, go to career, uh, pick an existing game that you've got. So let's take our Flint Hill series because we're enjoying that at the moment. And you can see here, I've already got some mods installed, uh, but obviously this is a new mod. So you want to find it and make sure you install it. So there we are, the IH Precision Disc 500. All you need to do is click that so it's got a tick in there, hit start, and load up the game. With a new map, just hit the P button, load up your store, jump down to Cedars, scroll along until you find your installed mod. And there it is. 40 foot, 60 foot, and your air cart. Key things to remember are Download from a reputable site. Never unzip the zip folder, you don't need to do that, unless in certain circumstances, as I said with maps, there may be a bundle of mods zipped up together you need to unzip, but never put any other folders or files other than a zipped file into your mods folder. And thirdly, just have fun going and finding the just the myriad of brilliant mods that are out there from a fantastic community of modders that we've got on FS19 and show them your respect, give them your love, like, comment on their stuff, say thank you to them, and uh, that's all from me. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope that helped. I know I've had a lot of questions over the last few days and weeks uh, from people new to PC, Farming Simulator 19, asking uh, how do you install third-party mods. So I hope that you enjoyed that, I hope it's helpful to you, and from me, the Farm Sim Guy, I will see you very soon with another tutorial. Bye for now.